Hi guys, today we're going to learn how to animate mouths. Let's begin! Alright, here we are on Live 2D. To begin with, we have an upper lip and a lower lip. These are going to be covering our mouth shape that is containing our teeth and tongue inside its clipping mask. So, we're going to do something that we did before in our eyes tutorial, and that is remake our mesh. So we're going to go to Edit Mesh manually, Tool Details, and we're going to erase the mesh that was created automatically, and we're going to remake the mesh. I could just skip this part completely because we already know how to do this, right? But I want to share a tip with you guys. I'm going to make the mesh much more complex around the lip line because the lip line is going to be heavily transformed and the rest of the part that is just skin, it's going to work only as a mask that is going to cover the rest of the mouth. I'm going to do the same with the bottom lip and I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, now we finish our upper lip and lower lip mesh remake. Before we continue, I want to show you something really cool. This image is a mouth shape sheet for Live 2D. They are really useful because they guide us on how to transform mouth with different shapes and also different expressions. This one in particular is made by Non Non You Know. I left a link in the description so you can go and check their Twitter out. They make Live 2D tutorials on really cool and awesome stuff. Now, if you want to look for more mouth shape sheets like this one, you can go to Google and just type Life 2D Mouth Shapes and you're going to find a bunch of images shared by different and talented artists and you can select the one that suits you the most. And here I'm going to show you how to use them. So let's begin. I'm going to select all the parts of the mouth and on the parameters tab, we're going to look for two parameters. These two, mouth form and mouth open. On mouth form, we are going to add three key forms. Mouth form is going to represent these things. When it's on 0.0, .0 it's going to be our neutral expression. When it's on one, it's going to be our happy expression. And when it's on minus one, it's going to be our sad expression. Now, we are going to go to mouth open and we're going to add two key forms right there. Now, the mouth open is going to work with our mouth form in making different shapes. So, to have more control on how we open and close our mouth, we're going to add more key forms. We're going to go here and we're going to type 0.3, we're going to add another key form, and then 0.7 and add another key form. Once we have all our key forms like this, we're going to select mouth form and mouth open and we're going to link parameters. And we're going to have this new key form arrangement that if you look closely resembles a lot our mouth shape sheet. Am I right? So, since I'm using this image, these key forms are going to work like this. If you decide to use another mouth shape sheet, usually they have their key for arrangement on the image, so you can just copy it, okay? So, what we're going to do now is transform our mouth according to our reference sheet on each of our key forms. Let's begin! Alright guys, let me guide you through this process, because it's a lot. First, you guys can see that I used my deform path edit tool and I placed it on top of the lip line. This way, making the math transformations is going to be a lot easier. Also, this is what I meant when I said that the skin parts were going to be used to cover the mouth. Now, a cool tip here. You guys saw that I moved both points at the same time. This can be achieved by selecting one point and then, while pressing SHIFT, selecting the other one. This way, you guys can move both, symmetrically. Oh, what was that? I selected both, but then moved them inwards at the same time. I work on Mac. And this is the command to do so. While selecting both points with shift, press option and then you will be able to move them inwards or outwards symmetrically. I don't know which one is the counterpart on PC, but if I found out which one it is, I'm going to put them here. Alright guys, from this point on I continue doing all the transformations in each keyform following the mouth shape reference. 
So now I'm going to jump into the final result and I'm going to share with you some key information. I'm going to explain some stuff that I think is going to be really useful for you, okay? So let's jump right in. All right, guys, we completed the mouth animation. Let me show you how it looked. We're going to go to the mouth form open parameter. And as I said before, we're going to check the mouth forms and now how the mouth open works with it. We're going to go through neutral first. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. We can see the shapes here. Now let's go to the happy transformations. Hey, there we go. Now let's go to the sad transformations. Isn't this cool? This is amazing. I really like this kind of thing. So if you guys find this really useful, please hit the like button. All right, guys. Now let me show you some of the key transformations that I used here. Okay. First of all, I'm going to lower the face opacity. And now I'm going to show you. Okay. Aside from transforming the lips that were going to cover the mouth, I also transformed the mouth a little bit. I'm going to select it and you guys can see how I transformed it. Basically, it's just a little squish in the side so it can get hidden easier. Well, let's go with the tongue now. The tongue also has some transformations, but as you guys can see, it's minimum. It's just a little bit of up and down and yeah, that's basically it. Up and down, a little bit of a squish here and there. It's, it's just to make the animation have a little bit of flow. Then the teeth. I duplicated the teeth, all right? So I could have uh, upper teeth and bottom teeth. And well, they work as intended. You guys can see how I moved the teeth. So for example, when the mouth was closed and our smiling state, the teeth are already there. Because if we don't have them already there, what will happen is that when we smile, the teeth are going to come out. Like if they were some sort of snake fangs. Let me show you, look, this looks really natural, right? Because the teeth are there. But if for some reason I move the teeth down or up depending on it when we animate again you guys can see that the teeth just come out like that and that doesn't feel really natural so my tip here is to maintain the teeth in a position where it's going to be quick for them to show up and it's not going to feel like some sort of toggling animation okay let's continue now i'm going to move our points like this so you guys can see how the mouth works and interact with each other and I recommend you to do so because sometimes some parts might not work as intended. So it's okay to test before calling it a day, right? In my case, everything works fine. But now that I'm moving this, I want to give you the last tip. And this one is actually really, really important, useful. And it's not only for the mouth, but for a lot of different things that you might want to implement. So let me show you. I'm going to put the reference right here and we're going to analyze it a little bit more. If you guys can see, some of the mouth shapes are actually really similar, if not the same, in different keyforms, right? The tip that I want to give you is how to duplicate keyforms, okay? Not the object, but the information that is inside a keyform. So, just for the sake of the example, I'm going to copy this mouth shape that is really complex, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to select everything that is being affected by the keyform that you want to duplicate, okay? Now, instead of just copying, I'm going to shift copy. So pressing shift, copy, and now we're going to copy this keyform information to a new keyform. I'm going to do a radical transformation here. So I'm going to go to the neutral state so you guys can see that I'm in a neutral state. And I'm going to shift paste. Once that's done, our keyforms duplicate the information. That's pretty awesome and that's also pretty useful. Now you guys can see that our keyforms are duplicated, right? We are here on 0.0, .0 and now we are the same as minus one one. All right, guys, that'll be all for today. But hey, stay tuned because now that we have our mouth fully rigged, this is awesome, by the way, I love it. We also have our pupils animated, our eyes also rigged. We can move on to making expressions. And the expressions that we're going to make are going to be really, really awesome, really fun, and are going to be rather easy to make. Like we just have to have a little bit of organization in our parameters tab. But aside from that, it's going to be super easy and it's going to be the next video. So if you like this one, please hit the like button. I hope it was useful and I'll see you later, guys. Bye bye.